Welcome back to the five-part series on how to stop stress. Now, in the first two videos, we learned that the clinical definition of stress is actually fear. And that's why people aren't getting a resolution, that they're actually stuck in fear. Then we learned there are three types of fear, either the fear of rejection, the fear of inadequacy, or the fear of powerlessness. In the last video, we gave, I gave you the solutions to the fear of rejection. Today, I'm going to give you the solutions to the fear of inadequacy. So in this video, we're going to cover what causes the fear of inadequacy, the main signs that we are in the fear of inadequacy, and then the solutions for the fear of inadequacy. So the first thing to understand is what the fear of inadequacy is. Well, in those moments when we're stressed and afraid, what we're fearing is we don't feel that we have the skills, tools, or knowledge to do something. So where does this come from? Well, when we're experiencing the fear of inadequacy, it's a trigger to somewhere in our childhood where we were told either directly or indirectly that we were somehow incapable of doing something. Um, and for many of us, we even, it may not have been said directly to us, but we left with the feeling that we might be stupid. And that's what's really replaying. It's the sense of, oh my gosh, I feel so inadequate, so dumb, so stupid. I don't have the answer. And really what it was is our parents' perfect imperfections and their lack of recognition that we're young and we're exploring the world and we don't have the answers. I know for me, my fear of inadequacy was born with my father. Um, I'll never forget. I was always great in math. And straight A's just made sense to me. And my dad was kind of like, you're going to be an engineer just like me. And then once it got into theory, algebra, geometry, stuff like that, I just, I couldn't do it. And I'll never forget the look on my dad's face. He, he was helping me with homework. And he's like, Kenny, don't you get it? Like I could see his disappointment in me that it just, you know, he's showing, he's like, look, it's so easy. Don't you get it? And I felt so stupid. I felt so inadequate, like, my God, I'm letting my father down. I'm just not good enough for him. Well, that's what's happening to us in the present moment. Remember, all stress is borrowed pain from our past that's brought forward. We're reliving that traumatic moment. Well, that was mine. So think through your own life. Where were you sent those messages? See, my father didn't directly say, you know, I was bad or stupid, but the look on his face, the incredulousness of how he was talking to me left me with that feeling. It was a perfect imperfection. We don't teach how to parent, how to talk to our kids. Even if we did, we'd all make mistakes like that, but that's where we learn this, okay? So what's the main sign that we are struggling with the fear of inadequacy? Well, procrastination. Putting something off or avoiding and pursuing something because ultimately we don't want to experience that feeling again. This comes up with me all the time. I hate marketing. The marketing of business, the sales process of what I do, I can't stand it. I don't want to learn about it. I don't want to do anything with it. Why? Because this stuff I love talking about, it, 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 comes, it just comes naturally for me. It's very easy. It's who I am. It's my gift. But marketing, ugh. And so I'm always hit with that fear of inadequacy because when I've tried to market, I say things the wrong way. I do things the wrong. It's just like my father. So I've had to learn the process of how to overcome that fear of inadequacy. I'll never be a great marketer and that's okay. But what matters to me is that I'm effective and that my methods help people. And that's ultimately what matters most to me. So how do we overcome it? What are the solutions? Well, the first step is this. Make a list of all the thoughts and feelings that come up whenever you consider learning something new. What are they? Just like I talked about with, you know, for what it is for me with marketing. What's coming up for you? And trace them back. What you're going to find is just like me, it goes back to a childhood moment where the parent, a teacher, football coach, somebody, you know, either said directly, hey, you're stupid or you're dumb or something like that, or their expressions, their attitude, the nonverbal communication created that feeling. So that's the first, we have to identify the source of it. And 
what, you know, because that's where we're learning the procrastination. We're procrastinating, experiencing that feeling again. It's not so much that we're afraid of learning this new skill or doing this new thing. It's we don't want to absorb that feeling because we haven't healed it. So that's the first thing we have to do um, whenever we are procrastinating or fearing inadequacy, experiencing something new. The second step is we need to contemplate who that voice was, you know, whose is it? And we need to give it back to them. And so like for me, when it comes up in my life, I'm like, dad, I picture myself right there doing homework. As if I, you know, as children, we can't talk back to our parents. But I picture myself in that moment, looking up at my father and going, dad, I love you. And I know your heart is to help me, but you can't talk to me that way. I, I can't hear that. That really hurts me. And so can you give me the help that I need in a way that's more kind and loving? Like I, I take that feeling and I give it back. I protect myself. I say, no, this doesn't work for me. And that's kind of a reparenting of ourselves. And we regather our self-esteem, which we lost, you know, in the first fear of rejection. We gain our power back, which is the third um, stress or fear you're going to learn about in the next video. So give those feelings back to the person that sent the message. And then finally, the single greatest way to overcome the fear of inadequacy is go become an expert. Go learn about topics. There's a, the single greatest chemical explosion we have in our brain and body to change our feeling state. Remember, stress is a feeling state, is the act of learning. It is the greatest way to shift our subconscious and create a new feeling experience for us. Okay. So those are your three solutions. Now make sure you tune in to the next video where I talk about the fear of powerlessness. And if this is helping you, please comment. Leave me comments. How were you made to feel inadequate? What went on for you? Um, also, if, if this helps you, like and subscribe. Um, and keep coming back because that's what I'm trying to do here is give you solutions that help you. So I hope that helps you conquer your fear of inadequacy. And we'll see you at the next video on the fear of powerlessness. Have a great day.